Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 29th, 2019. So my goodness, as we start rolling into the end of May here, the hits just keep on coming. This morning we're looking at futures sharply lower, looking at a substantial gaps down uh, this morning in the market. And there's a few reasons for that. First, the U.S. yesterday put nine companies, or nine countries, not nine companies, nine countries on a, um, a monitoring list as currency manipulators. Of course, China being one of those. And that has sent some shockwaves, obviously, around currency markets, um, seeing currencies devaluing uh, against the dollar as a result and that's creating some issues as you might expect we also had china last night make a uh, a bold threat that they would withhold rare earth metals uh from the U the u.s um prevent them from access to rare earth metals which are essential for technology uh, manufacturers uh, particularly and uh, that certainly is causing some reverberations on that threat and probably one of the more important things um, domestically here that is going on if you guys have been paying attention to weather patterns and things the grain belt through the center of the united states has just been inundated with water there are flooding problems all over the place actually devastating flooding problems in many areas of the grain belt delaying planting uh, i mean seriously delaying planting to the point that um, crop numbers are starting to look really our harvest numbers are starting to look really sketchy and um, that is making commodity prices rise and of course um, we'll have to see but uh, the expectation is that would uh, quickly translate into higher food costs as these uh, delays on planting continue in those flooding issues and, and, and damaging weather uh, continues to plague the central United States. So kind of keep those things in mind. These hits just kind of keep on coming as um, our market continues to worry about, you know, global slowdown economic slowdown and it's creating some ugly ugly patterns here in the market so let's take a look first at the diamonds now the diamonds has been that place where there's been a considerable amount of effort to try and prevent any move lower but that seemed to really give up yesterday afternoon there was a con um, a substantial amount of selling they came in um, in the afternoon yesterday and uh, that ugly pop and drop pattern that we talk about when we get those gap ups and particularly as we when we gap up into resistance. Now this morning we're gapping down and here's the ugly thing is we're gapping down below some very key levels of support. And that could have some serious ramifications for the overall market. Number one, if the sellers really pile on this morning, we could see a level of fear or, or even panic start to set in to the market. Gapping down below this level really puts that 250 level in the Dow in sights. And what that means is that we will lose this 200 day moving average substantially and drop possibly drop right down into this 25,000 level those big round numbers once we start getting close to those big round numbers it's just like a magnet that draws prices uh, to that so we'll want to watch that pretty closely today it is entirely possible no one wants to see it, but it is entirely possible we gap into this, see those sellers pile on and drop right down into that level, which could be, you know, substantial, substantially painful today. Now, if the bulls happen to step in, if if we see that concerted effort to really hold the market here and the bulls step in, this could turn out to be a bullish thing as well. If those bulls step up and show their strength and rally us right back above 
at this level. But I got to tell you, I, I kind of suspect uh, the latter is true, that we uh, the pressure on the market right now, I think, is down. The downtrend is certainly in play. And so I'm going to have to say the odds of coming down into here um, have certainly grown. So watch um, those levels carefully. Let's take a look at the, the SPY. SPY yesterday at the close of the day, serious selling here, ugly three-day trading pattern here below the downtrend not looking good at all and we've been holding on to this level of support and i've mentioned this yesterday that if we were to slip through there we could see some really quick selling some panic kind of coming into the market well it looks like this morning we're going to gap below that level unless something seriously changes here over the next couple hours we're going to gap down below that level and create some um well, just some ugliness here in the market. Now, where could we go? Let's take a look at our moving averages. And you can see with our gap down here this morning, um, down into this uh, level, it's not a big stretch to think we're going to move right on down here and test the 200-day moving average. So keep an eye on that 200-day moving average somewhere around uh, 277 uh, to 275 seems to be a very likely area where we could... Um, test down in there and if we do happen to get a rally back if the bulls decide to step in and defend remember any defense that rallies back into this resistance has to be a little bit suspect uh, that we could hit resistance and then turn lower so watch that pretty closely let's take a look at the cues the cues very similar situation you can see i have uh, an important level uh, marked here in the queues as a level of support and that support uh, gave up yesterday afternoon with the selling coming into uh, to the close of the day and you can see gapping down below that level this morning puts us very very close to that 200 day moving average so I would watch somewhere around 170 oh 174 um, in the um, NASDAQ as a potential level of price support um, if and, and, and a very high uh, odds likelihood that we are going to head down there and test that. If we do happen to get those bulls defend, remember once again, we have price resistance here now that we're going to have to deal with. And as we rally back up, price resistance and downtrend will come into play uh, for that level. So watch that pretty closely. Last but not least is IWM. IWM has been um, holding on and ended up holding that just barely holding this level right in here um, at the end of yesterday. But this morning we're gapping down below that and I would guess that our next level is down here around 145 so kind of keep that in mind we could quickly slip pretty sharply down into that level right now dow futures are down 159 and they've been down 170 and i would like to tell you there's a lot of reason that uh, there's good reasons that we could rally back up but i i gotta be honest i'm not seeing too many of those this morning let's take a look at the vix the VIX, I've been cautioning everyone about this to watch this very closely. If we happen to hold this level of support in here, we could quickly see these spikes in fear. I'm guessing this morning we're going to see the VIX rallying. Whether that fear actually turns to panic, I don't know, but we could certainly see some of those fear spikes start to uh, perk up in here, moving us um, um, substantially lower if some of that panic comes in and also keep in mind for option traders and things like that this is going to uh, probably dramatically raise um, implied volatility of options uh, that means volatility in stock prices volatility in those option prices will make it more challenging uh, to trade so be very very careful with that let's take a look at t21 
22. That four-week new high, new low ratio is our light of hope here because we have tested this level right in here multiple times. As you can see, testing, 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 testing. Um, and every time we've, we've hit this level, we have bounced off of it recently. This morning, that's not going to be the case. It looks like this morning we're going to extend this move down into this area where we could reach that kind of extreme oversold condition on the short term. So if we do extend down into here, if we see that 250 level tested in the diamonds, uh, the NASDAQ and the, uh, uh, the S&P 500 testing those 200 day moving averages, we may have finally reached that full bullish reversal zone where we're going to start watching or need to start watching for that potential relief rally to come in at any time. So watch that this morning. This is our, our ray of hope that we may be getting close to um, to that um, relief rally. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. When I said there's really not much to probably help us today, I kind of am pointing to this. There's really nothing on the economic calendar today for this hump day to really help the market out. There's no big news report, no big um, number coming in here to really help us this morning. Um, as a matter of fact, it's, it's kind of a ho-hum and yawn um, economic calendar today. So we're looking at uh, the market being kind of left to its own devices here this morning um, as we move forward uh, because there's not much help on that economic calendar. On the earnings front, we have a, um, a, a lot of well, not a huge a number of earnings today, but we have a lot of retail reporting. Um, ANF um, is reporting this morning. You can see they are gapping down, missing um, on um, on their earnings report. We see um, CHS CHS. Um, is reporting. Um, not one of these stocks that I would expect to move to market much um, right now has not reported. That's coming up. Dick Sporting Goods, DKS, will be reporting. Um, looks like they are gapping up this morning. Looks like they've had a positive report this morning. GES, guess. Uh, reporting today. They have not reported yet this morning. Um, so we just have this big round of retail reports. Also included would be Pan W. Uh, Pan W reporting today. I think they probably report after the bell. You might want to keep an eye on that. Antilles. Some coffee sellers um, reporting today. So you might want to kind of keep an eye on some of those um, reports. But nothing that would, I would expect, no reports that I would expect to be really big market movers or anything that could really uh, improve or help things uh, for this bearishness that we're looking at this morning. So be kind of careful with that. So I know this is an ugly, ugly uh, market to look at, but here's the thing that's hopeful about it, all right? And, and the thing that I want to point everybody to, when a market gets like this and those hits just keep on coming, we just kind of just keep getting thumped and thumped and thumped and thumped and thumped. We push down, we push down, and what normally happens is Mr. Market tends to overextend to the downside. We get carried away, just as we do when we go up. We get carried away to the upside. What that means is, is once this is over, there's going to be some really great prices and great opportunities in stocks. So while it may be painful, while you may be a little bit fearful of this move, particularly if you're holding a lot of positions, I have been warning and warning and warning to be careful about that. But if, if you're holding a lot of positions, this could be a very, very painful morning, and I understand that. But please, for, for most uh, everyone, just kind of keep in mind that a sell-off overall turns out to be a good thing because it, it puts good prices 
on stocks gives us opportunities to enter um, really good trades. So as long as we don't allow ourselves to get beat up and lose a bunch of money during the sell-off, there's great opportunities when this is over. Now, I can't tell you we're nearing that place where this is going to be over. I just can tell you on a short-term basis, we could be reaching that extreme in oversold condition relatively soon so we'll want to watch those price levels for that potential rebound so be really careful today don't be chasing this gap down trying to short it we could easily see the bull step in and bounce this right back up just like we had the pop and drop yesterday we could have the gap down rally today so stay very very focused to that price action hey everyone if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor you know what I try to do here is is help everyone uh, do a little bit better job of preparing for their day to not get caught up in the emotion of the day but to take a look at the charts and see the possibilities that are there the dangers the possible opportunities and to um, make that decision on how you want to approach the market today without getting caught up in all that fear and greed and emotion and the drama that you might be picking up on some of the newscasts let's look at those charts and make very rational decisions remember trading is a business and we have to treat it like a business there's times when there is so much risk in trading it may be better for you to just stand aside you do not have to trade every day to be successful as a matter of fact what i would tell you oftentimes less trading more profits you have to wait for those good signals to occur don't try to fight the market every single day today might be one of those days that it could be wise to just stand aside and protect your business protect your capital okay one of the things that I see a lot is we get this idea that we're sitting here in front of our computer so we must trade today now if you're a day trader that is true day trading you know you've got to be pretty darn active if you're a swing position trader trading every day is not necessary in fact what we want to do is do more of trading when we have an edge and less when we don't have an edge so we need to know when it's time to back away okay this is a business this is not an addiction to trading remember that we want to be focused and approach the market with a good solid business approach okay so think about that on a morning like today and how you want to approach those uh, that market but if this is the first time you see these videos please do me a favor click the subscribe button on YouTube the follow me button on Facebook if you happen to be watching the video there click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment that makes a huge difference um, helps the algorithms to share these videos to more people I truly appreciate it thank you so much to everyone who does that you mean the world to me and um, if if you feel the video is worthy please feel free to share it on your Facebook or your Twitter feed or wherever uh, you uh, post uh, social media things. It is available for anyone. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks, things that could um, uh, could be setting up. And a lot of these stocks I've talked about before multiple times, and I'm going to continue to talk about them because their patterns continue to hold up relatively well um, overall. One of the places you might want to be looking is you might want to be looking toward the defensive sector stocks. You know, stocks like um, Hershey. Hershey has held up really, really well. It had a serious little pullback yesterday, but that could be pulling us back after such an extensive move up, just pulling us back to the trend where we have another opportunity in the uptrend in uh, in that stock. You could take a look at um, SJM, SJM Smuckers. Um, also had that pullback after this substantial rally we want to watch and see if buyers might step in here holding on 
to trend. I can't say that's going to be the case. Clearly, we had some ugliness going on here uh, today. Take a look at utilities. Um, XLU, if you're looking for long trades, XLU has had a major rally up, and you can see getting a substantial pullback yesterday, looking for some support level in, in here. If that can hold on, there may be something in here, but be careful. Be careful with long trades today. Um, there is nothing out there that I would really recommend as a certain buy signal uh, today in trades because we have so much damage being done technically in a lot of places. And yesterday's afternoon selling uh, created a lot of damage in charts. Now, having said that, there are a lot of charts that are set up for potential short trades. Take a look at a stock like Nike. Nike has been set up for a short. I mentioned this last Sunday as a short. That certainly played out well. And now Nike is giving up this level of price support today um, with a a very bearish engulfing candle here the possibility for more selling to the downside um, stocks like Etsy if you're looking for a short trade Etsy rallying right back to price resistance whoops my tool changed automatically on me rallying right back to price resistance here and now showing a shooting star pattern if that follows through to the downside we would want to watch that pretty closely for that potential of a short trade and notice that will be right there at that 50-day moving average that failure that is a fairly common pattern fail below the 50 rally back to it and then fail toward that 200-day moving average so watch charts like that there's going to be quite a few of those um, in the market um, right now yesterday I mentioned uh, BA as a possible short and that possible short continues to show itself um, in this challenging this resistance right here and challenging this major price resistance in the chart and if that follows through with a downside move we could see that failure actually continue here in Boeing might want to keep an eye on that uh, for the possibility of some long trades take a look at Disney Disney has been holding up relatively well even though yesterday it saw some selling and it could um, experience some more selling this morning really starting to break this thing down but Disney has held up really really well and this is one of those big chart patterns uh, that big weekly pattern holding up in here we want to watch for an entry but it may not be today it may not be tomorrow it may not be for a week or two uh, or more but we're going to have to watch that pattern this pattern setting up um, is actually uh, well hey it's pretty darn good take a look at companies like Shopify I mentioned Shopify yesterday that one went on up looking good holding up very very strong here and continuing to show strength this morning holding up relatively well so you might want to take a look at companies like Shopify for a place to look for some relative safety um, Microsoft Microsoft has been very strong holding up but now that technology stuff is starting to even affect here Microsoft may slip lower this morning it looks like and we could start seeing some of those attacks run into some substantial um, issues or problems so watch that closely today so with that everyone I hope you understand that none of these none of these stocks are necessarily a recommendation to buy or sell they're just meant as an idea to put on your watch list to evaluate and uh, focus Focus in on those charts but um, lots of damage is being created technically in the market so be very very careful if you're struggling as a trader remember you don't have to trade every day stand aside protect your capital wait for your edge to return great prices will be on the way better markets will be on the way we just have to be patient and wait for it and things will improve everyone take care of yourselves have an awesome day and we'll talk to you very very soon bright and early thursday morning